Hello everyone, this is Sif Spawn, and welcome back to episode 15 of my Roman Spectrum 2.5 Pontus Campaign. Now, last turn, or last uh, video, we took Hyropolis here. We have our other army just kind of chilling in the area. And I think, assuming the Seleucids don't really take any more action against us, we are going to start and try our plan to move against the Ptolemies here. So, first move, I'm going to grab my general here and set up a watchtower. Which I don't have the money for, so that'll happen next turn. Okay. Let's go ahead and end the turn here. Really quickly, I do want to make one or two more units in Antioch, just so I have... Well, first of all, I'm going to make a garrison for there, but I do want to have this garrison be able to act as a first line of defense... Well, second line of defense for those forts, but basically I want it to be um, almost a f an emergency field army in case the Seleucids do come, so I'm going to try to make one or two more units for it here, and I'll probably make one or two more um, infantry units for it next turn, but nothing too expensive, but that way I'll be able to move against the Ptolemies over here and not have to rush back at the first sign of trouble. Like, it'll take something pretty severe to force me back, so... We'll make a little less money due to it, but hopefully taking these Ptolemaic settlements should outweigh that enough that it won't matter. And I might even have to make a couple ships here in a second to take uh, Cyprus, because I do not have any kind of navy, I don't believe. So, let's go ahead and end the turn for now. Alrighty. Nice. My money is doing quite a bit better here. I'm making about 21k. Pretty good compared to just over 10k like I was making for a while. And I'm going to see if anyone desperately needs anything here. Okay, everyone's doing pretty good on public order. So before I build anything, I'm going to go ahead and spend my money on these forts here. Let's see. This is still my land here. It is good. Fort. So I think we decided it was going to be one here. Two, three, four, five, six forts. Six more forts? Yeah. So I don't want to leave them too heavily stacked. And they don't really need to be since we shouldn't be getting elephants around us here. This is just to discourage the Armenians mainly. So they're not going to be heavily garrisoned. What oh, is that? Not a pass? Yeah, it is. Okay, we'll set one here. And this will be my last one for this turn. So, spent about 4,500 on forts this turn. But it's alright. I'd rather have a defense system in place and invest a little money into it than just have my cities constantly being sacked like Tarsus was. Or not sacked, but it was taken for a little bit. Okay, now we have Antioch. Let's get them something. Mm. Its public order isn't doing terrible, but we do want to up it so we can eventually raise taxes here. Let's give them a Oh, give him a Shrine of Dionysus, that's cheap. Okay, he's doing fine. I have some rebels. Oh, no, wait, no, those are just my troops I made here. Never mind. Mordecaia will get guards and patrol posts. So we have Heraclea, Sinope, Mazaka, Trapezus, and Satala need to build. Let's go to Satala. It's not growing at all, but I think we decided we were going to try to raise its happiness before we worry about growing the city itself any bigger. So let's go ahead and give them guard and patrol posts. Let's go to Trapezus here. And 
And we'll give them a Shrine of Zeus. Mazika, you will get... Something. Shrine of Dionysus. And let's see, Heraclea is doing very well public order wise. So let's get their growth accelerated a little bit and give them the... Oh, let's go ahead and give them the first level of population growth measures. And we'll just hang on to this last little bit of cash here. So leave myself enough for a watchtower. Don't remember how much they cost in this mod. Eleven hundred, perfect. Send him over here, build a watchtower. That'll give me a little bit of advance notice. I do have my spy right over here as well. We'll set him right there. So that should give us a turn and maybe advance notice if they start sending something our way. And Heropolis is not going to be protected by any kind of fort, but that's okay. If we have to retake it, we will. It's not really our biggest concern. Let's start moving them up here to be retrained. Let's see. I think we're good on cavalry here. So, a couple more turns here at most, and we will be, hopefully, moving into the Ptolemaic lands here. Let's go ahead and move him down this way. Pergamon still appears to be nice and quiet here. Hopefully they go for Byzantium or something, rather than Heraclea. But we will keep an eye on the situation. So let's go ahead and end the turn. <laughs> All right. My lord. Yes. Get everyone who can be retrained at Mazika over there. Not nearly as many in this army as in our other one. I still can't do Thrakatai. They can do these. Thrakatai Hoplites, so we'll send them that way. And I think that's just about everyone from this army that they can deal with, but that's good. That's a good seven units right there. So everyone else head up towards Amasia here. And we should be able to make it in. Like usual, we'll just set the garrison over here on this bridge. And one second. You stay with the garrison. We'll re-put you with your army in just a second. And we'll have two units left for next turn, but that's not a big deal at all. And now it's time to spend our money. Amasia needs to build, so we'll probably take care of that here first. Actually, first I want to go down here to Antioch, and we'll give them, let's see there, 625 apiece. Now, I'm trying to just find a couple decent units here that can fill out this army, and make it actually somewhat formidable. So it's kind of expensive, but we'll give them two of these Darkatai Hopout units. They're pretty sturdy. Somewhat expensive, but they're worth the cost. So, back up to Amasia here. And then we'll go to Sinope next, because they, did, they didn't get anything built last turn. Okay. We definitely want to just keep increasing our income from Amasia. Give them a level 2 Temple of Hermes here, I think. And so nope, we'll get you whatever we can afford to. Let's go ahead and just give you this militia training building. Yeah, I'll give you at least a 
basic unit selection there. And we're going to head you down this way. Okay, good. We're still in our lands. Let's go ahead and set a watchtower here. And, oh, in about a turn we're going to notify the Ptolemies that we're no longer allies. Avoid any kind of reputation hit. I don't really know how much of a difference it makes in this game as compared to, say, Medieval Total War, but either way, we'll, we'll do it. They've been our allies. It's only fair. So, let's go ahead. We can't quite build this next fort here. So I'm not even going to bother to move him. We'll finish those next turn. Since we spent a little money on units instead here. And end the turn. And we'll see you when this turn starts. But everything seems to be staying nice and quiet for us. Which is good. I really don't want those Seleucids to be moving in on us right now. We beat them enough times that I'll, hopefully they'll just stay quiet for a little bit. Got a new general. Doesn't look terrible. We'll take him. He doesn't have a lot of stats yet, but he's young. As expected, we made a tiny bit less. It looks like Tarsus just finished growing, which is great. So let's head over there. And give them garden patrol posts. Now let's go ahead and get our forts before we spend all our money. Let's see. Move out. Ready to ambush. Prepare fortification. Yes, Stratigos. Yes, Stratigos. And then we will send one here. Onward. Prepare fortification. Yes, Stratigos. My lord. My lord. And next turn we will put one right around here and that should be all our forts we need for the moment. I'm not really going to worry about our western border because that's where we're going to be actively expanding for the foreseeable future. So we just need this to give us a little more time to react on this border. Okay, now to finish spending our money. Oh, Satala so and Trapezus will definitely build something for. And Satala so just really doesn't seem like it wants to get much happier. Let's go ahead and... How much money are we making from them? Not much. Let's go ahead and just make them an autonomous city. That'll make them much happier. Should. Yeah, they'll gain another 20 happiness there. And really, it doesn't even look like we're going to lose any money since they're not very profitable. So that works out well for us. Trapezus. we still got a bit of money left for you. Let's go ahead and make you a Shrine of Demeter. And we've got a little bit of cash left. So Apamea. Ooh. That me needs to grow, so I'm actually going to have to put 16,000 towards that next turn. But for now, let's go ahead and raise taxes, just because I want to slow down their growth. I don't want it to get out of control before we build this, so we'll put that up for now. And in the meantime, let's do something to increase their happiness. It's only going to take a turn if we have something. Yep, that'll do it. And anything we can afford to build for Antioch here? We'll get them just a Shrine to Apollo. And actually, you know what? I'm going to have to cancel a few things. I forgot about retraining. We'll see. I think we only have two units left, so maybe not. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty, let's check out my spy here for a second. I know what's going on right here. I kind of want to look around a little bit. On my way. On my way. Moving out of Musa. 
might even make another Spire 2 so I can keep track of what's going on with Pergamon better because they're going to be the biggest potential threat in the area to me besides the Seleucids. Unless Armenia decides to uh, attack me for whatever reason. kind of want to check out Diplomacy see what everyone's doing. At least all my neighbors. The Seleucids are at war with still just me and the Ptolemies. Armenia... Actually, allied with the Seleucids, but they're not at war with anyone except for the free people. Let's see... Pergamon is a, at war with just the free people and is allied with Ptolemy, Scythia, and Rome. And... Ptolemies are at war with the Seleucids and allied with a bunch of people. Actually, quite a few of our neighbors and nearby people, nearby nations. But if we attack them first, we should break their alliance with Macedon easily. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and end the turn here. We are almost to some action, guys. I know it's been kind of slow here, but we're really just recovering from our punitive expedition to the Seleucids and building our economy a bit. Where did we lose a fort? Maybe that wasn't us, but I heard down the fort. Huh. Well, everything seems to be okay still. Let's go ahead and set our last fort up over here. And you guys just had... Let's see. They're pretty expensive. I'm not going to waste them on a fort. So just head back this way. Let's get my army back together here. I'll reorganize it in a minute. Move them down to here. Yes, and grab the rest of our army. You know what? Oh. It might be worth it to go ahead and build another unit of catapults here and wait a couple turns. I know you don't want to hear that probably, but... I don't like fighting garrison armies. I find it pointless. So we're going to. I should have done that, but I didn't really think about it, so... A couple more quick turns of building before we get to the real action. I don't know why a major doesn't have a first aid center yet. Last thing I want is for them to get the plague. Okay. You head to a major. I really want to start making more money so I can actually build everywhere every turn. And not just little tiny shrines either. But hey, we are on the way. Alright, Antioch, I'm going to move you to medium taxes. We can lower it if we need to, but that should be good for now. Be right back, guys. Alright, I am back. Let's see. We were looking at Antioch here. I went ahead and moved them to medium taxes. And... We will just give them a shrine to Hephaestus. Whoa. That's not weird at all. Let's see if it does it again. Weird. Oh, there we are. Oh, that was a little bit buggy. Okay. Who else needs something? Papa May isn't too happy, so let's head over there. See what's going on. Oh, right, we have them on very high because they're expanding. And I just spent all their money again, didn't I? Silly me. Where did I spend it all? Or 
was that? Yeah, this was all the same turn. That's what happens when I go away for a minute. I get all confused. Okay. So, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Now, go ahead and rebuild that in Amasia, and then we'll head down to Mazika. Now, I really would like to get Mazika to a um, top-notch recruiting center, but to do that, we will need... I wonder if we just need the supply of army rations. Let's just go ahead and build it and see if that takes care of it to get those elite barracks unlocked. And then Trapezus... We will give you a Shrine of Dionysus. And then we'll start speeding Trapezius' growth up very shortly so we can get another huge city going. I think that's going to be my turn here, so let's go ahead and end it. Oh, yay, our national leader died. Whoa. Glitchy, glitchy. Let's see who our new one is. It is our governor here in Amasia. That's handy. Let's leave him there. Do we have any anyone else governing trapezes? We don't. So we shall have to pick someone there. And I think we're going to go ahead and see both of those guys are pretty young here. Oh, my frame rate just dropped there. Now nah, it's back. Kind of. Holy crap. Come on, Fraps. Well, let's play nice. <laughs> let's see. You, my friend, are going to get sent up this way. You're going to head true trapezes. So he'll get there next turn. Still one more turn on these catapults. Oh, I could actually probably just send him there. Yeah, let's do that. He's much better. So we'll just send him to a major. We'll decide what to do with him. Actually, go on this way. You might be a good governor for one of these settlements when we take it. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and... Get those counselors chambers going. Barabamea. And don't have a whole lot of money left after that, but that was kind of expected. So next turn we'll have the catapult built. And we'll go ahead and end our alliance with them that turn. We're actually probably gonna run out of time for an actual battle this turn so we'll probably get at least a few in next next video though two or three I imagine so let's see anything for you Amasia let's get a shrine of Hephaestus going that'll eventually let us get um once we get up to the Pantheon level we'll let us get a uh, gold gold armor upgrades for our guys and end the turn I'm not really keeping an eye down by the Seleucids so I need to remember to check out what they're doing if we can see anything nope god damn it Armenia attacked well there went our plans potentially okay We might be able to fit in a quick battle after all, guys. Looks like they've got a pretty full army here. I wonder if this was an emergency stack or something. They just got weakened. Nope. They do have some upgraded, experienced cataphracts, and that is definitely not good. Their infantry contingent honestly looks pretty mediocre. 
but their cavalry will be a problem. I really don't know if this army here is up to the task of dealing with it. We'll see. Um, damn. Low taxes? There we go. That'll hold it off for a turn. Go ahead and give you another cheap garrison unit here. And, gosh, I did not want to do this. Yet another enemy for us to fight. Sorry guys, you know how it is. My Lord. My Gotta make everything look pretty. Alright, Spartacus. Yeah, time to fight our first battle with Armenia. Okay, it does appear to favor us. We are going to make sure this garrison does not join us on the field. I don't want them all to die. And let's attack. Now they will have a pretty strong cavalry advantage here. So we're really going to have to support our cavalry with our infantry. Probably those hoplites we trained. And then our infantry should be able to crush theirs no problem. Just with the phalanx units and maybe the thoroughforoi. If we can get our slingers to um, get a good firing percentage on those cataphracts, we can probably do a good job of weakening them up a good bit. Slingers do a pretty good job of ripping through cavalry if you get a good angle on them. Alright. Let's see what setup we have. I'm actually not minding this setup for the most part. It's not bad. Switch a few things up here, but really this is going to be pretty quick and easy. I kind of want to keep it compact with them having the cavalry advantage on us. We'll make it easier to reinforce everywhere we need to. And let's go ahead and start this battle up. Okay, let's check them out here. Got some skirmishers, some hoplites. We have quite a few light units, just eastern levies and mountain uh, or highlanders or whatever they're called. Caucasian something, I don't know. Let's see. Caucasian highlanders, yeah. They've got their cataphracts, Azad, or Azat cavalry, more cataphracts, and some Nakarars somewhere I saw. Either way. I'm really not too worried about the infantry. Their hoplite units will put up a little bit of a fight, but they've only got two of them. Okay, let's just back this up and triple speed for a moment. Sorry about that, guys. I keep getting someone texting me. I would ignore it, but I'm trying to set something up with them, so I kind of have to see what they're saying. I do have a few archers here, so I'm going to try to take them out before they attack my slingers. Actually, everyone here... Stop, slingers. Fire at will. We'll just take these skirmishers out, no problem. Yep, they're not even really good to do anything. I definitely have this skirmisher advantage as well. Are they pulling back? 
Wow. Oh, Armenia, that's just pathetic. You come out all the way and attack me, I kick your ass once, and you just leave. Well, not gonna be much here to see, guys. I'm just gonna chase them down and get as many kills as I can before they get out of range. That was silly of you guys, I must say. Let's just crush them from behind. Good, they're routing. <sighs> Come on, take them out. I really want to get up to these guys and start throwing some javelins in the rear. Perfect. Head up this way, guys. I'm just going to let my heavy cavalry take care of the remainder of these light troops. Come on, they're getting close to the edge. Good. Don't stop to fight them, just run through them, please. Guys, get up here. Let's turn javelins on. Hopefully they throw in front of them. I don't want to waste it on the guys behind us. Nope, they are. Come on, right ahead. I believe in you. We're at least going to make them regret attacking us, even if we're not going to be able to crush their whole army. Sweet. And we're getting some good javelins in the back of their hoplites here. That's very good. We'll weaken up their good troops a good bit. Okay, so this is basically the battle. Didn't end up being really exciting thanks to the uh, cowardly Armenians running away. But hey, a win's a win, and this just proves that we should be able to fend off most attacks that come our way without disrupting our plans too much. Well, and that, nothing really worth checking with those stats. Alright guys, sorry for the... Um, I guess light action in this episode but it's looking like there shouldn't be many thing holding us back from going forward with our attack on the Ptolemies most likely next turn so we definitely will have a good bit of action there I'm just going to go ahead and save here and call this an episode thanks for watching and I will see you guys all again next time